Welcome to the final game here for week nine for football rivals. Tonight we have the number 23 ranked Texas Longhorns hosting TCU. Texas Christian University, as you can see down there. Texas is at top of the white standings. TCU is at six. Conference one and two, two and oh. So there's still room to move up. This is early in the conference season here. Most of these teams, it looks like they've played six to seven games, and most of them are not conference games. So this Big 12 conference, Big 12 division and conference will both, as you see Bevo there, will both move and shift a lot. So today we have a still important game. It is a Texas fight, in-state conference battle, and we are ready to roll. Texas Longhorns have a good history, a good solidified home crowd here at DKR, Texas Memorial Stadium. The house is packed as they host their in-state rival, Horn Frogs. TCU comes in here for the football rivals comp competition, I should say. They're coming in. Uh, they've had a good season so far. They've had a couple televised games. They're a pretty solid team. Coin toss, it looks like. TCU will be kicking to the long run. Kicks up and away. Texas will return the kick here. Nope, he decides to kneel it, and we will have a touchback for the first touch of the game. You see here Matt Bowers, who is the impact player chosen for the game. He's a wide receiver senior. Had a couple catches, a handful of catches in the last game. And Texas comes out at the 25-yard line here, and they pitch right. He's got he's got room out there. He puts his shoulder into the. He puts Joe Hamilton with the one-yard rush. And that was an exciting one-yard rush as he turns the corner and puts his fist into the throat of the first Horn Frog defender that came around the corner to try to stop him. Here in Football Rivals, uh, it's been a very physical, very run-heavy season this year. We kind of notice as he pitches out to the pitch man, he's got room to roll, and he decides to try to, Hamilton had the edge, and he decided to try to manhandle to kind of bully past that defender, and it blew up in his face as the backup got there in time. Here at Football Rivals, it's been a very rivalry season. <laughs> uh, as passes out to Brad Carter for a four-yard reception there. And that will bring up fourth and three as TCU's defense holds steady against the Longhorns in the first drive of the game. Lamont Thornton only passed once that drive, and it was for that four-yard catch as the punt is away. You see, he returns it. He's got blocks set up. He cuts through the middle and cuts to the right, and Kenneth McGee will get a solid 11-yard return. It's TCU, and this offense comes to the field. Coming out. Three wide, two left, one right. Tight end. Hands it off. Oh, he pulls it. He keeps the ball. He tucks the ball in the option. He cuts back inside the middle of the field. He had blockers set up, and Jonathan Tompkins with the 11-yard option rush. He pulled the option, let the halfback take, let the halfback take the hit, ran to the left side and saw the middle and cut back into the middle of the field and got a huge first down play as TCU just punched Texas in the mouth on defense. Tompkins floats one over the middle and he hits Robbie Burton for a four-yard reception over the middle. As like we said earlier in the pregame, this is a solid Big 12 division here. A lot of the after the relegation, a lot of the promotions and demotions happened in the Big 12 as it was kind of a busted up division, busted up conference anyway. And you saw in the standings there, at least in the, you know, in, in the white division, uh, there's a lot of room for movement. As he pulls another, Thompson's, he runs to the edge and he lowers his shoulder and he, Tompkins burrows through that guy for a three yard rush. And he's now got two rushes on two option pulls for 14 yards and TCU is driving down the field. Texas defense doesn't have any answer for him so far, but it is third and three. Let's see if they can hold him on third and three here. Tompkins tucks the ball and he tries to run it, and he's going to get sacked for three yard loss. And Texas Connor Morris, Texas's defense, steps up and hits him in the in the middle of the field as he's decided he was going to try to tuck it. And oh, you can see there he was he was getting blocked, but he just pushed the blocker off and got the, the three yard sack, two yard sack, which brings up fourth and five. 
And now both defenses have made a good stand. Oh, Texas almost jumped off sides there on the punt. But he reset and the punt is away and he tried to cough in them, cough in corner on him in there, but it will be a touchback. Texas, number 23 team in the country, will get the ball from the 20 yard line. Texas comes out three wide right. Hands it off up the middle, cuts back. It was a kind of, I don't know if it was designed to go to the middle or not, but he got the ball, ran to the right, and it looked like it could have possibly been a counter play or something, but regardless, he takes the dive up the middle and does get a solid four-yard gain on the first carry. They come out with a tight end left, I formation, play action. He's just sitting there. He's got plenty of time. He's bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. He dumps it off over the middle to Hamilton for a five-yard gain. He was wanting to take a shot here as he just sat there and waited, 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 and then just hits the running back there, as you see. Hits his, uh, looks like on the replay there, he might have had somebody going deep down the field over the middle of the field. But we will never know, as it is now third and one for Texas. Come out under the center. Single back, hands it off, and he's going to get met in the backfield. He will not get the first down as he is swallowed up by Jermaine Hall. Big Jermaine Hall there. First hit was number 42 there, and then the rest of the, the rest of the Horn Frogs defense came and helped clean up the, the mess as that was a huge stop for TCU there. The punts away. It's a booming punt, and he takes, he's got blockers set up again, and he gets another solid return, this time for seven yards as Ken McGee, as he takes it to the outside. Setting up TCU there. Ball at the 43 yard lines. They come up four wide, spreading them out wide here. He's taking the shotgun, he's gonna run it again. As he, this quarterback seems a little gun shy. As he runs it, he's got room, and he gets up the middle and slides after a big run on first down and 10. TCU with two drives now. This is the second drive, and two drives they've started out with big runs by Tompkins on first play. They come out again with four wide. He's gonna pull it again. His halfback got eight up in the backfield, and he runs, and they're running the option. Perfectly right now is Tompkins. You see five rushes for 32 yards. That one, a seven-yard gain. As he read it correctly, the halfback gets just destroyed as soon as he pulls the ball. He runs up the middle and gets a good solid seven yards. This time he hands it off, and that was a bad read. I don't know if that was a, an option or not. But Jake Dukes gets zero yards as he runs, gets the carry off to the outside, off tackle to the left. And there was nothing there. Shotgun two halfbacks, kind of a cross route. And across uh, the halfbacks crossed each other there. As he hands off to Jake Dukes for a run up the middle. That time for, I believe it was about six yards at the gut for the first down carry. And that's a great design. That was an odd play. To come out four wide, three wide right. Takes the shotgun. He's going to take a shot to the wide open receiver, number 87 out there, Robbie Burton, for a seven yard reception. I believe that is his second catch of the game, and it is for 11 yards. Tompkins is two of two for 11 yards. All two. That guy. Here's that two halfback setup again. And they cross again, and he does hand off to number 41, Jake, Jake Dukes. Yeah, guys. This time it does not have the success as you see Jake Morris, this Texas defense had it sniffed out that time, stopping him and bringing up a third and four here. As they come out four wide, two left, two right. Halfback release, looks like they set up a screen. He's got him and he's got defenders blocking and he's gonna get hit in the backfield as Alonzo Smith was the recipient of that catch on the screenplay and he will get nothing, actually loses a yard. Bringing up fourth and four, and these could be the first points of the game as TCU is set up to kick a field goal. The kick is up, and it is, ooh, it floated. It is good. And that, that took the longest I've ever seen a 20-something yard field goal taking the flight. TCU kicks it off, and it looks like it's going to be another touchback here. And it is, it's nailed down. 
We'll see here the defenses early in this game have been playing pretty decent so far. Texas has the only sack of the game. And if you think you can do better here at Football Rivals, come in. We're taking applications right now, taking verbal commitments, I should say, for slots for the college year three guys as they come out in a bunch formation. Joe Hamilton gets clocked at the line of scrimmage and he got hit forward for his one yard gain. He didn't gain that. He got knocked forward as uh, he just, just no blocking there, untouched, destroyed Hamilton on that play. As now Texas comes out with the double halfback formation. One releases, one blocks. He's just sitting there. He's got all day. He's having all day, all day today. As Lamont Thornton had all day, he had a pocket form, and he decided to float up forward. He stepped up into the pocket, and Oscar Mason makes him pay for it with the sack. You see there, he had a pocket all day. He, kinda, he could have just sat there and waited. If he had, had a little more patience and awareness, he would have been able to get something out there. As you see there, uh, Texas is 0 for 2. Third down conversion so far as it's third and nine. Takes the snap shotgun. He takes a one or two little drop step and he bullets it across the middle to Bowers who catches it. He is again, you know, he's the impact player, the guy to watch for this game as he does catch that for eight yards, but it's not enough for the first down. And Texas will have to punt it again at fourth and one. 30 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Punt is away. It's a low hanger. Gets it from his 30-yard line. There's no blocking away this time as Kenneth McGee is just crumpled like a piece of paper two to three yards after he got that. He, uh, this was the time he decided to not put any moves on. He runs straight into the Texas wall and gets destroyed. As it's a handoff up the middle and he lowers his shoulder and dukes it out with him for a nine-yard rush. And that's fourth and six. Four rushes for 16 yards for him as that was a nine yard gain at the middle. And that was a brutal physical first down run. TCU comes out three wide left and that's gonna be the end of the first quarter. And I'm gonna take a beverage break and you guys enjoy these highlights. If you are new to Football Rivals, we have at least two commentary games a week. Skip Lloyd, the all-American, all-beloved, very professional commentator, calls on as Tompkins gets sacked for six-yard loss there, bringing out third and seven. As I was saying, Skip Lloyd calls the main event Saturday night game every week. So go check out last night's game, NC State. He takes Thompson, takes a sack. He's got all day, and he's going to get sacked. He's got the pocket collapsed, and Tompkins, two plays in a row, loses 13 yards as Cole Leslie is the one to finally get to him. Left in there. As you see, he's blocked initially one block, two blocker. Spins off that guy right into him as number 94 chased the quarterback, Tompkins, right into Leslie's pocket there. But as we were saying, Go watch the Saturday night game. Go watch all the games. Go like them, uh, subscribe, comment. If you could, guys, for us, we'd really appreciate it if you could like the videos that you watch. That'll help drive the content, the algorithm. Help drive the initiation of getting the video spread. As we are about to hit 90,000 views, thank you very much. We cannot do this without you guys and your engagement. Like I said, we're about to hit 90,000 views, which is incredible and amazing here at Football Rivals. Texas with a funky game, funky position there. Hands it off to Hamilton, who there looks like they were trying to set up some kind of power sweep to the left side. And TCU wasn't having it as they lose two yards on the play, bringing up second and 12. Quick little bubble screen out to the right side to Bowers, and the, you know, the, we knew in the pregame show, and you saw from the impact play, as that's his second reception. They wanted to get this guy involved in the game. They wanted to get Bowers involved in the game, take some shots to him, get him some little dink and dunks, get him ready to go. 
That was a second as they quick pass and it's intercepted. He floated that out there trying to get it to Bowers and this is gonna be a pick six for TCU and that was a grave mistake for this Lamont Thornton and this uh, Texas Longhorn offense as they tried to set up a, a screen, which was it just ugly from the get-go. He just read that and jumped it from the start. And he, Thornton, got to put some power behind that ball is now there. The number 23 team in the nation is facing a 10-point deficit barring the miss of this extra point. And it is good. And TCU has come in here and slapped Texas around. This defense is showing that they are no slouch putting their team up by 10 points here early in the second quarter. Six minutes and 12 seconds left to go in the first half of the second quarter as the kickoff is nil. We see TCU's coach down there. He is hype. He is getting this defense, getting this team ready to roll. As they have only allowed 28 yards here early in the second quarter. Texas comes out, high formation to the right, and the fullback just whiffed and did not block anyone out there to the outside. And Brett Howe makes him pay, a two-yard loss. He wraps up, and then Howe comes in and finishes it off. Approaching 550 in the second quarter. Texas comes out with that big, big formation too tight again. Drops back to pass. He's got blockers. He's got all day. His pocket is collapsing though, and he goes down. Lamont Thornton goes down again for a nine yard loss there to Matt Irons, as that was his first sack of the game. And it will be third and 21. As Texas, both of these defenses, man, are just killing it out here today. The only points have came off of bad mistakes from the quarterbacks. As they come out five wide. Got all day again, and he's going to go down hard. Lamont Thornton will go down hard again. That is 16 yards lost on two back-to-back -back plays. As he had the time, he just sat there and kept the ball too long, and he got a face full of shoulder, and he got driven to the ground like a man. And it is going to bring up fourth and 28 as Texas will kick from almost the back of the end zone. The punt is up. You see this punter, he's not the greatest as it's a short kick, only about a 40, 50 yard punt. And McGee runs it. He learned from his mistake last time. He tried to follow his blockers a little bit and he got back to his double digit 11 yard form. He learned a lesson that last punt return. He got his clock clean. As TCU smells blood now, they're on the right side of the field, and he's gonna, he has room, and he read that perfectly. He runs up the middle, and he's gonna get a first down. Tompkins gets a first down on an 11-yard rush, and that is eight for 30 for a 3.8-yard average. As Tompkins is eating this Texas defense up, it's about the only bright spot on the page here for TCU's offense as they come out two wide right. Tompkins takes a snap, he hits him over the middle and he finally connects to a, for a pass and it's to Kirby Harris for a four yard reception. And I believe that's only his third or fourth. Yeah, there you go, four of four for 15 yards. This TCU defense is not taking any shots. As they come out here four wide, one half back, back in the backfield, Tompkins puts a man in motion, comes in maybe to block for the half back. And he does, he hands it off on a delayed handoff, Dukes up the middle. He has nowhere to go as Travis Lloyd hits and introduces himself in the backfield. And that's a three yard loss as it will be third and eight for TCU now. They gotta get some touchdowns here offensively. They come out three wide, big blocker in the backfield, motions him out to the left, motions him back into the backfield. Tompkins takes a short drop, he hits a guy over the middle. He had 87, it looks like, over there wide open, but he decides to hit Kirby Harris for a five-yard reception to get those five yards back. Bringing up fourth and three, and he is five of five, but hardly any yards as TCU looks to take a 13-point, a two-point, a two-score lead as that ball is up and good. And TCU is up 13-0 on the number 23 team in the nation, Texas. Texas has got to get some things going. 
kickoff is being returned and he's hit. Clint Jones is double tapped by the TCU return team. As you see, even, even sequentially there, <laughs> as number 58 and 59 for TCU just crush his hopes and dreams. Texas is coming out five wide. Maybe this is the drive they try to take some shots as he dumps it over the middle though. Comes out five wide and takes a safety valve. And Andrew Wilson for a six yard reception over the middle. Right at three minutes left in the half. See, Lamont is five of six. His only mistake, his only incompletion was that pick six that he threw. They just rainbowed out to us. Uh, screen is this time he just throws the ball away that you know that time was smart he felt the pressure he's been taking a lot of sacks so far a lot of negative equity as he just holds the ball too long but that time he was smart he, you get to see the left end was closing in on him quickly he just throws the ball up takes a snap oh great block there by the, the halfback as he hits it he hits the receiver out to the oh he spins around he's got more he's running the sideline brad carter with a great catch it didn't look like it was going to be much as he caught about a nine yard reception. Did you see Thornton there just floats these balls. His his throw power must be non-existent. As he just floated out there and Brad Carter spins off that, forget off me, punk. Just spins off that first would-be tackler. Tries to sprint down the field, but he did not have any speed. It looked like he had cement concrete in his shoes and he was not anywhere as they come out in a big formation hands it off to the right side follows his blockers and Hamilton gets a solid seven yard rush here bringing up second and three and we're about to hit two minutes in the first half now as Texas if they want to get some points on the board they've got to score here before halftime little offset formation brings us counter play kind of they counter the fullback and that was a big loss there by Arrington. Hit him in the backfield. As you see, nine rushes for 10 yards is pretty, pretty bad. As they come up too wide. Offset eye, hands it up the middle. He had, he did not follow his blocker at all. It was Joe Hamilton. Somebody send this kid back to camp. He needs to learn how to follow a blocker. As his fullback ran right up the gut. At, did, he was 20 yards deep, and they're going for it on fourth and three here. It's kind of a bunch blocker set to the left side. Right, the clock ticked down. They're just going to let some clock clock burn off before they run this play. I guess they figure since they're you know right around midfield, they might as well take their chance here and try to get the first down. And man in motion, hands it off at the middle. He's got room to the left side. He's gonna fall about a yard short as Hamilton gets hit three yards deep, falls forward for a two yard gain. And that time he followed his first blockers, there just weren't enough of them. And TCU makes another defensive stand there. As you see them, they are hyped on the sideline. They are excited and ready to play here. As TCU now has a chance at almost half field or almost midfield. Come out four wide, man in motion from the right to the left. Going to try to get some off-balance action. He stays in the block. They, ooh, Texas, Chuck, Chuck McFadden. Big defensive end. Sticks his big old meat paw up there and knocks the ball down. It wouldn't have gone anywhere anyway as that receiver was being draped. Motion tight end out, bring it back in. He's trying to cut across the middle as the... Texas TCU, man, they're just like Robbie Burton with another three-yard reception. TCU's just not taking any shots down the field, and it's blowing my mind here. 45 seconds left in the in the first half. Third and seven. They've got to take a shot here. Shotgun takes the snap. Oh, and it's hit on the line of scrimmage. Jonathan Tompkins at six of eight. 23, as you see, 52 there is claiming. He blocked it, and it was blocked on the line of scrimmage, and there goes taking a shot. It was just another dump over the middle anyway, so it really wouldn't have gone anywhere. TCU boots this point away. Shout out to all the guys here watching this live. If you can, go help us out. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We have content every week, 16 games minimum each week. Ooh, Hamilton gets the reception and he gets depleted. Hamilton has taken some shots today. He better hope he has Brett Howe with another massive. That's not the first time we've heard his name today. 
as he depletes Hamilton over the middle. As Thornton takes a shot. He's finally taking a shot downfield and it's intercepted. Oh my God, the deflection off the first guy. And then who was it? Number 20, Jonathan Newton, the free safety, picks it up before it hits the ground. Did that hit the ground? No, it didn't. That was great spatial awareness there as he picks it off. And now TCU, again, almost at the same exact spot they were when they punted it away. This time with 22 seconds left, they can take some shots downfield here and try to get some points on the board before halftime. As they hand it off over the middle to Kenneth McGee, they call timeout after a seven yard reception. Coming out with some urgency now. Two wide left, one right, uh, one right. Tight end motion from the right to the left side. He drops back, he rolls out, and he's gonna roll into a sack as Jonathan Tompkins is sacked for six yard loss. This big old Bevo defense hits him. And after that timeout, there's 14 seconds left in the half. Tight end motion to the right side. He takes a shot over the middle and he hits him and he connects and it's another dump over the middle to Burton for seven yards. And that's gonna bring up fourth and two. And it looks like Texas, no, no one called timeout. It looks like that will be the last play of the first half. As it is, no punt happens. And TCU shocking Texas right now in the Texas in-state battle. Conference game, Big 12 conference game, division game. TCU is leading 13 to nothing at the half over Texas in the number 23 team. If you are here, welcome. If you are new, even more welcome. Bring some friends, come back. And I will take a minute to plug our Pro League. We are building the Pro League as we speak right now, guys. Teams, logos, cities, everything are being made. We are ready to roll as this team will be, as advertised in the podcast and the other games, a 100% custom. We will have all new teams you've never heard of before. All new, well, not all new locations, but new cities, teams, logos, uniforms. Come be an owner. Buy an organization, run them, manage them, win some championships, all games. Go check out our podcast a couple weeks ago, a week ago, where we talked about owning a team in the professional league. It's coming. The first draft with these players that you're watching now will be in September, mid to late September, which will kick off our year one pro league. This is year two of the college league right here. And all players, oh, as Texas smashes Dukes in the backfield for a three-yard loss, bringing up a third and eight. Chuck Fadden with the big hit. He had the interception earlier. But all teams, all, all players, come make a player. Come be in college. You think, you think TCU or Texas need some help? Come make a player for Texas. Actually, Texas just got a quarterback in the verbal commitment the other day. So Texas will have a quarterback all year. This will be year three. For the next college season, year three, we'll be on the new college football 25 game. So that's exciting. All year two slash three players will be on the new college game. As we finish out the year one and year two guys here on NCAA 14, it has served us well and it has done its purpose. We'll bury it and give it the utmost respect when it's gone. Come make a player, join the league, join the Discord. Don't want to do that, you're just a fan, subscribe, like, comment, help push the algorithm. Thanks to everybody for all the help. As I said earlier, we're about to hit 90,000 as Hamilton puts some fist in the faces on his way to an 11-yard rush there. Looks like the Texas head coach pumped up this offensive line and this offensive squad saying, you know, we gotta get some points, guys. As Texas rolls for a big play there on first down. Takes a snap, takes a shot over the middle, and it's another dump over the middle. This time to Andrew Wilson for a seven-yard reception. So Texas is on a little bit of a move here now, taking a shot over the middle. He's wide open on the slant. And that's going to bring up second and three, as that was a great play. As my colleague Skip Lloyd brought up last night in the other game, in the NC State game last night, you know, this is going to be a... 
all custom game, all custom league as he floats one out there and he connects. And that might be the biggest play of the game for Texas as he floats it out there to Kyle Wesley. Rainbow arcs that one for a 16 yard game. That was a great play. Now, like I said, last night, Clemson, the Clemson NC State game, that was a shocker there. I didn't see that coming. That's why we play the games. That's why games aren't played on paper. As NC State and the Heisman hopeful uh, Smokey, Smokey Smith hosted Clemson Tigers. It was a great game. Go watch that game. Go listen to what some top-notch commentary actually sounds like. Not myself. I am not a commentator, but I am here to help you guys enjoy this game. Because who likes the same old boring commentary? If you would like to be a commentator, all jobs are available here at Football Rivals. If you would like to try to get... Ooh, takes a shot over the middle and Carl McFadden knocks it down. We are hiring for everything, guys. If you would like to come and commentate, be a commentator. If you'd like to help with the draft class. You want to own a league, own a team in the, in the pro league. If you want to be an AD for the college team, everything's open, everything's available. As he has time in the pocket, takes a shot downfield, and he oh, dropped the interception. Clint Phillips dropped the interception. That would have been a big play. But instead, it's going to be a Texas field goal attempt here to try to get some points on the board finally and put them within 10. Kick is up, and it is good. 13-3. Texas is struggling today, guys, against this Horn Frog defense. It is up. And it could be returnable. And he's going to bring it out. He was about two yards deep. He has blocks set up. Oh, and he should have taken the touchback as Kirby Harris gets a 20 yard return, but he does not hit the 20 yard line. As TCU will get the ball around the 18 and a half yard line. Pitches it out on the option and the quarterback Tompkins, he got creamed as he's running and he's got room out outside. And Dukes with a big 21 yard rush on the option pitch as he pitched it at the absolute last second to Dukes. And that was a great play. As TCU just continues to roll on this Texas defense. Even though they're having success, they still don't have the points. As you see, we just started the second half, and they've only gotten 13 points, and that touchdown was a defensive pick six as he hands it off up the middle, and he steamrolls for it, and Dukes is filling it now, guys. Eight rushes, 37 yards. 27 of those yards came in the last two plays, as it is now second and four. Cross pattern they use is the halfback separate. Takes a shot over the middle, a wide open receiver. And he's got room to run, and he tries to separate on his way to a 21 yard reception. And that's William Miller just out there, you know, filling the zone holes. Almost blocked there on the replay. His 95 almost got his hand up there, but he misses the swat. TCU comes out, spreads, keeping them spread thin. Wide receiver option. Oh, and he, that was an RPO from hell. As it went nowhere. Shotgun snap. He's got room. He takes a shot downfield as it goes deep, and it's almost intercepted by Oliver Patterson for Texas, trying to hit the corner of the corner route there in the shallow part of the end zone and TCU finally takes a shot downfield that's longer than a 12 yard pass and it was a bad one. So they come out third and ten here they've got to take a shot the little tight end's doing his dance as he's got all day and his pockets collapse and he dumps it off the middle to Bryant Carter for a one yard reception that was his first catch of the game bringing up fourth and nine and it looks like they're going to kick a field goal here. Bring them within a, to just spread it. And it's a oh that was a he's he's floated them all game on his field goals and that was just not a good kick there as you can see it was going to miss from the start ends up a yard short and that was only about a 43 yard field goal. Three down, three down. 
Texas here with a little bit of life. Down by 10. Midway through the third quarter. Takes a deep drop back, and he almost got sacked as he floats the ball, throws it away. Texas has got to get something going here, guys. He takes a shotgun snap. He's got blockers, and he dumps it off over to the right side to Andrew Wilson for a two-yard reception. And that has, is indicative of TCU's defense. As T TCU's defense has just shut down Texas today. He's got all day, he, ooh, the pocket collapsed and he floats it and it's another interception. As that time, that was a bad decision, two bad decisions on two bad drives there. As TCU took a bad shot down the field and then Texas, he was about to get slammed to the ground and he did take a shot there, the quarterback did. As he tries to float one out, tries to do too much. You still have a quarter and a half of play. You're only down by 10. And I mean, I get it, he's a young guy, you know, he's a kid in college and he just th thinks he's gotta take everything on his own. With the tight ends in motion from the left to right here. Sets up the blocking, dumps it over the middle. Ooh, he took a shot from number 52, Kirby Harris. Watch this replay. Comes back to the ball, bad throw, comes back to the ball, gets it and Cuts up field and just gets crushed by number 52 there. And Harris, he didn't even, you know, that wasn't even a route over the middle to, that we're usually, we're used to taking that shot. He just had to come back to a bad throw. They so hand it up the middle to Tompkins, or Tompkins runs up the middle for a one yard gain. The option was not there at the time. They had both. They had both outlets covered. Nowhere to pitch it. Nowhere to really run. And you just at that point, you just take what you can get. As it's going to be third and three here for TCU. Keeps the option. He's got room. He's got blockers out to the left side. He bounces off the first guy. He's got him on the sideline. He oh, and he lowers his shoulder. He was going to try to take on the safety, and that's a big rush there on his way to 40 for the game as he lowers his shoulder to try to take on the safety and the safety just plants him. But regardless, he's gonna jump up. He's excited, he's ready to roll. And this TCU defense, as you can hear the crowd, this Texas Texas crowd is wanting tech, I mean, the Longhorns to make to do something and make a stop. A touchdown on this drive would basically almost end the game. The way they've been playing, you would figure, you know, a touchdown would put them to 20 to three and that would be a 17 or three score deficit. You gotta think they wouldn't be able to come back from that. Takes the shotgun snap, floats it out to the outside, and that's a bad play. As Alonzo Smith takes the play called, two yard loss. Watch the replay here. Tom Golden just smells of what's cooking, comes over there and lays him out. Gets the two yard loss, the great stat sheet column marked and just a bad play all around as it's now third and 12 I mean at least they're sort of kind of in field goal range you never know what this kicker is he dumps over the middle takes the safe play gets the six yards over the middle to Alonzo Smith bringing up fourth and six and again this is about a 33 32 yard field goal which with this kicker, it seems like it's not guaranteed as it floats up there and it's good. And that's going to make it a 16-3 lead. Horn Frogs lead the Longhorns by 13. Two-score game late in the third quarter. A minute left in the game. As he's going to run back. He gets ahead of his blocker. He's got blockers off the left side. He runs on the sideline. He's got room to roll. And he's got down the left sideline as Clint Jones on the way to a 35-yard return. And maybe, as you can hear the crowd getting back into it, maybe that's what Texas needed to get back into this game as they come out at the 34-yard line. Hands it off over, up the middle, and he's got room to roll, and he's punching people, pulling people, throwing elbows on his way to a 14-yard rush, and Joe Hamilton with a big play on first down up the gut. And that's first and 10, long run.
Takes this, comes out too wide. Bring in motion from the right to the left. Takes the snap back, drops back. He hits the guy that was in motion. They, that was a perfectly executed, perfectly set up play to get Bowers involved in this game again. And that's the first time we've called Bowers' name out in a while, as that was his third catch. Sid Thornton, 11, 11 completions for only 90 yards. Bowers in motion from the right to the left again. It looks like the same exact play. He had him over the middle, and he hits Bowers again on the same exact play, tiptoeing down the sideline on his way to a nine-yard reception, and that will be Bowers' fourth reception of the game, bringing Thornton to 99 yards passing. They don't get the snap away, which they do. It will be the last. He floats it over the middle. It looks like that was to Bauer. No, nope, Brad Carter on the way to a nine-yard reception. And that is the end of the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat. Get your fours up in the crowd. There we go. As Texas has got to get this, get it going. They have one more quarter going. As you see them there, trying to get together on the sideline, getting hyped up. TCU knows they smell blood, knows they smell this victory. And we have... One more quarter to go. As Thornton there, but you see a stat line with three interceptions in the game. It just killed Texas all game. As they float out a little swing pass out there. Ooh, and Bowers with the great play. You can see why he's an impact player as he gets the little swing pass out there, pushes the first defender out of the way, and then just gets destroyed by number 53, Carl McFadden, who's been all over the field tonight. Texas comes out. They're three wide, tight end formation. And the same play to the left side. This is twice now. Four plays. They've called the same play two times back to back. This time it was to the other side of the field, at least, to Clint Jones. And that was a seven yard gain. As it will be third and three for Texas. They've got to get a touchdown. Takes a snap. Oh, they're blitzing. TC was blitzing. He's got a guy to the left side, and that's a first down for Clinton Jones. And Texas needed that first down. That was a huge play here for Lamont Thornton in this Texas deep or offense. You see the linebackers kind of breathing a little heavily there for TCU. A little speed sweep to the right side or reverse type action. To Wilson, who had, you know, could have gone to the sideline, maybe gotten some bigger play, but he cuts it up the middle, followed his block, and gets three yards. Texas comes out, tight end motion from the left to the right. Could be setting up a run, and they do. They hand it off to Hamilton, who cuts it back to the left side. On his way to two yards, and that's going to bring up third and five. Six minutes left. 6.20 left in the fourth quarter. They've got to get a touchdown here as Texas comes out. Got to get a sense of urgency going, guys. Five wide here. Gordon takes a snap. He's got to go over the middle. He takes the guy to the left. Touchdown, Texas. He floats it out to Clint Jones, and that's a seven-yard reception. Lamont Thornton, Texas, this crowd's back in it. This team's back in it. They're not down yet, as they're with this extra point. They will be down by six points, which is a touchdown. And they're back in this game, as they're only down one score now, as that was a beautifully executed play, a float fade to the left side. The defender looked like he possibly thought he was going to cut inside to do a slant or an in route. And he just kind of used that momentum to float, kind of stutter step outside of the corner of the end zone. And Thornton hit him on a little rainbow pass as the kickoff is away. Kenneth McGee takes it for a 23-yard return. And TCU now, although they've been in charge, been in, you know, they've been in command the whole game. They are only up by six now, as this is a horribly called, executed, and whatever you want to call it, play. As that was a weird little tunnel bubble something screwed up play to the right side, and it loses seven yards on first down. That is not how you wanted to start out the drive here with five minutes and 55 seconds left in the game. You're up by six. You've got to get down the field, burn some clock, and get some points on the board. As they hand off the Dukes up the middle for another loss, this time for three yards. Just 
destroyed. Somebody. Oh man, that was just a bad play. As Ham, as he's just destroyed up the middle. Dukes was. Come out four wide. Gotta take a shot. Third and twenty. He takes a shot downfield. He's got a guy, and he catches it. William Miller caught that ball for a 38-yard reception. Oh my God, that was a float. Hail Mary, answer my prayers play. And it was a 38 as they set up that weird screen again as Tompkins realized it was dead from the start and at least floated forward to get sacked for only a one yard loss instead of a seven yard loss this time. Let's go, I wish we could see the replay for that pass, man. William Miller went up, he climbed the ladder over two Texas defenders and Man, that was a great play. That would definitely be on the highlight reel. Be sure to check our socials. We are on TikTok. We are on Instagram. We are on YouTube, obviously. We're on all the socials. Follow us. We're on Discord. Discord is where the players talk to each other. Come join the Discord, even if you're just a fan. Come join the Discord. Come join the league. Come be part of Football Rivals. As TCU comes out here, quick snap. Floats it out to the right side of the halfback who will release, and he gets past the first defender. Can't get past the other two out there to the outside. Alonzo Smith with the reception. Not able to get enough to get the first down. This will be fourth and three. As you gotta imagine they're gonna let the clock tick down, and they don't. They snapped it with 20 seconds left on the play clock. Load a punt into the end zone. And at that point, I would have just went for it. I don't know why they didn't go for it and just kind of I guess you're afraid of throwing a pick six or something like that, but just take a shot downfield. Texas comes out here in tight bunch formation. It's a guy in a dot. Where has that been all game? As Andrew Wilson gets a 17-yard reception from Lamont Thornton. Where has that been all game? That was a great read, route, executed, thrown, and caught play. Texas is feeling it now after that touchdown drive last last quarter or last drive. We've got three minutes and 45 seconds left to go. Four wide here, half back deep. Takes a deep drop, seven step drop, and he dumps it over the middle. He was about to get hit in the backfield. He hits his uh, safety valve there in Clinton Jones. Another great route, but he rubbed it perfectly against two defenders to get open. That will bring up second and five as they got to get something going here. They don't they don't have to go too fast because a touchdown and an extra point will win them the game. You got to figure the recruit that has verbally committed to Texas, that is in the Discord, that talks every day. Oh, and that's a horrible pass over the middle. Bad decision. He will be starting as Thornton will be gone next year. But this... Uh, the recruit that is verbally committed to Texas. He's got some tools to work with here, but he's got some work too as they run a little quick little tunnel screen there to, to Bowers for a two yard reception. They were trying to get some separation there. They are trying to get some plays going on third down, trying to get the first down and it's gonna bring up fourth and three and they're punting the ball. If they do punt it, it is a short, shallow punt. Down the sideline, Texas is going to rely on their defense. As you see there, both teams, seven sacks total, three interceptions, and six pass-up breakups today. This has been a defensive battle, just a brutal physical game. As TCU takes the ball now. I figured we'd see a lot of running, and they hit the, they hit the halfback out there on kind of like a little release uh, sideline route. Dukes gets his first reception of the game. Alonzo, Alonzo's been getting a lot of the receptions. That was Dukes' first reception of the game. They come out, spread spread four wide again. Clock's ticking, 2.15 by the time this ball snapped, probably. Nope, they're going to let the clock tick down, click down now. And Texas is, you know, they, they rolled the dice. They said they're going to rely on their defense to stop them. So far, they haven't. Thornton runs to the right side. He's got blockers. He's going down the sideline. He's got a big play. He puts the first defender on his ground. On the ground, 
Tompkins with a 22-yard rush in Texas. That's what Texas could not allow. As you see, Tompkins there realizes there's no one in front of him, no one down the field. They're all covering the receivers. And that was a huge play. As now we're under two minutes left in the first, or under two minutes left in the game. First and 10. He ran out of bounds, so the ball is stopped. As Tompkins pulls the option, he's got room to the left side, and he runs back in the midfield, forcing Texas to use their timeout. Their first of the half on his way to an eight yard pull out of the option. Hands it off the middle, he's got blockers up the middle and that's gonna be Dukes in a first down on a four yard run. And that's first down and 10 and you gotta figure a couple more first downs and this game's over. Hands it up the middle, full back leading the way. Dukes gets a three yard rush that time. Minute 45, Texas is out of timeouts now. TCU is up by six, driving the ball. I'm out of eye formation, two wide right. Hands it to Dukes up the middle, he's got, he, ooh, he got shoestring tackle. His fullback was in front of him and he had no one to block. They would have been down that left side of the sideline. He would have popped out to the left, gone down that sideline, and that could have been a big touchdown ending game, ending play of this game. As we're at a minute 20. We're probably going to let the clock bleed down as low as possible. Takes a snap. He's got his running back. He dumps it off for the safety. Ooh! Dukes gets the catch, gets the first down, but he pays for it. As Texas is taking out their frustration on Dukes over the middle there. As this should just be a quarterback kneel down. And it looks like it is the victory formation. That's going to be it for the game, guys. As TCU will defeat the number unranked TCU will defeat the number 23 Texas Longhorns. 16 to 10. I have been your play-by-play -play commentator today. Commissioner back. Go, go to watch last night's game, the NC State-Clemson game, big AC ACC conference action game with Skip Lloyd doing the commentary for that game. As you see, Bowers just wasn't beneficial enough for the Texas Longhorns today to get them to win. Like I said, I have been Commissioner Back. This is Football Rivals. Tell your friends, bring in people. Your three college applications or verbal recruitments are up, open. If you'd like to try to own a team in the professional league, hit us up. This has been week nine. Join us Tuesday night. Actually, the first game will be Tuesday afternoon. We do a lunch game on Tuesday and Friday. Join us Tuesday, 2 p.m., and then Tuesday, 8 p.m. for week 10 action here at Football Rides. Peace.